Boeing had adapted the specifications to match South Korea's regional concerns. The jets were equipped with the latest radar and infrared targeting equipment, as well as advanced electronic warfare computers. Add to the aircraft's usual armaments, Boeing added slammer missiles for use against ships at sea. Most capable multi-role fighter in the world today. Uh, the aircraft is capable of carrying a multitude of weapons. However, I'd like to just focus on the SLAM ER, which is a new weapon that we are integrating on the F-15 for the first time. At these club events, it's not only the latest and greatest that's on display, air shows are ideal venues for honoring veteran club members. The legendary Spitfire, with its distinctive wings and manoeuvrability, earned a special place in British history. Designed by R.J. Mitchell and his team in the 1930s, it was a landmark in aviation. It was the glamour aircraft, no doubt about it, but that's because, it, in a way, it, it was the, um, the best aircraft in many respects. The Hurricane um, adherents would say it was, the Hurricane was a steadier, better gun platform, possibly even more durable in combat. Um, the point, though, was that because the Spitfire was structurally more efficient and lighter, it had higher performance and it could engage enemy fighters at heights the Hurricane struggled to reach. Innovations such as retractable undercarriage and oxygen supply were part of what made this aircraft the ruler of the skies. It's a lovely plane and it was wonderful, especially after the flying Hurricane, which is slower. It was, uh, it was a great comfort fighting against ME-109F. In the US, the death-defying demonstration team, known as the Thunderbirds, has been thrilling airshow audiences since they were formed in the early jet age, way back in 1953. Now the precision flyers push their Lockheed Martin F-16 fighters to the limit for a contemporary audience.